Hello everybody and welcome back to DJP to another planner setup video. For today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I plan on using this planner for my journal. All right, so this is one of the first planners that I did a haul review for and this planner is like, sorry about that. And this planner is like so pretty. Um, initially, I was gonna use this planner for my faith planner, but then I decided to go ahead and get a faith planner. And then I said, since this is horizontal, and I think this might be the only horizontal planner that I have. Um, they didn't come out with a lot of um, horizontal planners, I don't think, which was is a bummer because I'm a horizontal planner. Um, but I figured this is the one that I can use for my journal. And so the whole point, the whole goal of this planner is for me to get to know me. Um, like I explained in another video, sometimes you can kind of get lost in the shuffle with the day to day and you can kind of lose yourself in, in, in the in the midst of that. And so this planner is basically me getting back to me, me getting to know me, at least the me that I am now. And so that's the whole goal of this planner. Um, for the year to glance here, as you can see, there's nothing on here because I don't have anything that I needed to put on here. I don't need the personal goal section, don't need the financial goal section, and I don't need the career goal, career goal section. So I'm not really sure as far as um, journaling what this could be for. Maybe journaling challenges, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, I did want to force me trying to force myself to find something to put on here, though, I because I just didn't have anything. For the yearly index, I'm going to do monthly challenges. So, um, well, actually, that's good. Well, no. Yeah, those probably could go on the other page as well. At least the um, the theme of the challenge, maybe. As far as what monthly challenge, I'm not even sure, you guys. Actually, when I was filling this out, I kind of had in mind, um, it was like me time planner mixed with journal. I don't know. But monthly challenges if I do monthly challenges they'll go here and then here on the currently page I'm going to do currently for me so I'll have a, I'll have a picture of me my quote of the month and then I'll have currently like um, basically how life is going currently and then I just thought about it right here I could put like a some bucket list things so the quote will go here some bucket list items will go here um, that I want to do for the month and then currently you can go here and I'm not quite sure what I would put here then for the month at a glance I'm gonna do a brain dump and then I'm gonna do daily prompts so um, the journaling idea that I have it is going to be um, for lack of a better word structured but they're gonna be um, prompts dealing with getting to know myself as a person and so each day I'll have a different question that I answer and then I'll go here. All right, and then prompt answers. <laughs> so I have the question there and then I'll have the right, the answers to the questions down here. And I, f I feel like this is, is enough space for this. I'm not sure exactly what I wanna put here though. And then for the extra pages, I'm gonna have my list of the prompts of the month. So they will um the questions will not carry over each month but i do just want to have a list of questions in here for the month because what i may decide is not to not to write them in before the month starts i may decide to just kind of write them in as i answer them you know i may decide hey hmm, i don't want to answer this question this day i'll answer another day and then maybe i'll do the come back after the fact and put a question that i answered might do it like that so We'll see. That is all for today's video, guys. <laughs> if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to keep in touch, hit the subscribe button. If you really want to keep in touch, hit the notification bell. And until next time, guys, bye.